120 minutes to ban on Matador Records. I'm Matt Pinfield, of course. I'm here with Tori Amos. Tori, you know, the new album. Let's talk a bit about the title, Boys for Pele, mm. The Volcano Goddess. Yes. Tell me a bit about why you decided to call the album that. Because yeah, there's a lot of different things and images you can conjure up of, you know, boys for Pele. Yeah. Like sac offering the sacrifice of men for the volcanic goddess. I mean, there's a lot Well, of I, I did consider it, actually, man. You know, there were yeah. moments where just pushing them in did <laughs> enter my mind. But um, I think that's normal. I think when you're hurt and things are falling apart um, and you're having to change what you thought was going to be your life for the rest of your life, there, there are things that happen, um, well, for me anyway, inside myself. And this whole record is a transformation. There, there is, you know, there's the blood and guts. I'm a little vampire after my boy blood. And then uh, there's a bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I have to do my yeah. kiss. Yeah. Your impression. Well, Gene Simmons talk. Yeah, a little bit talk. of that. And that's what happens. That's how I make a good soup. There are all these different sides. And Pele represented fire, and I was trying desperately to find my own fire here instead of um, needing to take it from the men in my life for whatever reason. I, I thought I needed to, not as a musician, but for my woman's worth. My worth as, as a woman was intrinsically tied with how the men in my life saw that. Right. And speaking of which, um, I mean, there are different images on the album. We're going to get into talking about more about the lyrics and when we come back, because there's some things I, I wanted to ask you about. Maybe you can shed some light for me. I want to just also say real quick, I know we're going to have to break again because it, it, all these quick segments, but seeing you live um, is always a really personal, compelling experience. And I can say that from uh, your fans' point of view to my own, seeing you, you really not draw people in. It's just a real personal thing. You could be like in the last row, and you're still feeling, you're just feeling all the energies that are coming out of you live when you perform. Um, well, what we talked about before, you and me. Before we got on camera. Yeah, which is, I'm so shy around the cameras. And, um, the live shows are really like, I try and make them like a fire ceremony, so that when people come, they bring their demons, and they bring what's hidden in their unconscious, and it's a safe place. They're not going to get defecated on. It's a place where we're all um, letting them be alive. Yeah, and well, there's a lot of things coming out. And it's just, we're going to get into more into that later. It's great, though. Stick around. We'll be talking more with Tori, of course, and she'll be performing live a little later. And her voice will sound much better than mine does right now. It's well, let's hope. <laughs> it definitely will. I'm sure it will. After the break, we're going to show her her brand new video. First, here's a look at the top ten singles this week at Alternative Radio.